With the type of bandwidth growth we're seeing today, 40% or more year over year because of video, mobile, and cloud, Operators have to scale their optical transmission capacity, but they have to do it without increasing operational costs. Super channels is the only approach that will allow them to do that and deploy chunks of bandwidth at 500 gig or one terabit per second in the near term in one operational motion. And because super channels are made up of multiple carriers, the obvious way to build it elegantly is with the photonic integrated circuit because only with the photonic integrated circuit can you get five or ten 100 gigabit channels of transmission on a chip the size of my fingernail. The super channels provide a significant economic benefit to carriers uh, primarily from its operational simplicity. Uh, the fact is when you use super channels you're aggregating multiple carriers into a single operational entity that can be managed as such uh, essentially eliminating the need to manage individual circuits. Instead, you're now managing large circuits uh, across the infrastructure. The benefit of super channels is that I can uh, uh, continue on the path of getting more gigabits per cubic centimeter, more gigabits per watt, more efficient, more economically affordable gigabits uh, into my fiber, and I can get them sooner. If I have to wait for technologies that can that put this onto a single wavelength, I'm not going to be able to scale my uh, bandwidth on the fiber or my bandwidth in the network uh, at the pace that the uh, services or at the, uh, that the applications demand. So one of the, one of the things that the uh, customer needs to deal with is the reality that the services are going to differ depending on who my client is. As a matter of fact, the service speeds are going to, uh, the standardized service speeds are going to, going to change uh, over time. So it's not going to just be a uh, hundred gigabit, hundred gigabit Ethernet or ODU four or whatnot. There's an Ill, there's an undefined next generation uh, that's going through the standards bodies now. Well, you know, so some people have, have thought about super channels. I'm going to take ten independent lasers and ten independent modulators. I'm going to shove them all into some container, maybe a line card, maybe a chassis, uh, and we're going to call it a super channel. We don't think that's uh, anything that satisfies the criteria. PICs are the only technology that uniformly scale uh, on that and meet all those criteria simultaneously. The implementation of super channels as being developed by a lot of our competitors requires lots of components. That problem goes away when you implement the solution using photonic integrated circuits. The reliability of photonic integrated circuits is phenomenal. 500 million hours without failure. In fact, we've never had a pick fail in the field. Super channels uh, take the same modulation formats uh, that you would use for single optical carriers, but apply them to multiple optical carriers. It's that modulation format that dictates how far the signal goes at this point in time. So if I take a QPSK signal and apply it to 10 optical carriers, or I take a QPS signal and apply it to a single optical carrier, they're going to go about the same distance uh, in the fiber. The advantage is that I can enable the terabit class of services much sooner than if I were to do it with a single wavelength. Infinera is a huge believer in super channels. Uh, in 2012, we'll start shipping our first 500 gigabit super channels into production networks. We've demonstrated 500 gigabit super channels to our customers for over a year now. Uh, they've seen it, experienced it in their networks on trials that we've done with them, and they're very excited about it. So we expect the 500 gigabit super channel in production to be very well received. We've checked out the, the constraints of the technology, and we don't see any constraints in the photonic integrated circuit technology well beyond four or eight terabit super channels. And so over the next decade, and as the bandwidths continue to uh, drive up, as the service speeds continue to drive up, we think the photonic integrated circuit technology allows that to continue to scale.